All right, so let's talk about this. The ideal job, I, I have an exercise. It's basically an Excel spreadsheet called my ideal job. And basically it's in four categories. One category is comp and benefits. One is quality of life. The other is career development. And the last one has to do with relationship with manager and the traits and characteristics of a company culture. And I ask the people I coach to come up with 25 criteria across these four categories, okay? Salary related, benefits related, how long a commute you wanna do, is the company supportive of your career development? What does being challenged mean to you? And importantly, when you reflect on your prior job experiences, what kind of company culture did you fit in best? I, I attended a presentation a number of months ago. The presenter called it authentic belonging. How many places have you worked at where you could just be yourself? You belonged. You know, they were fine hearing your recommendations. They wanted to hear what you thought, not tell them what you thought they wanted to hear. And think about the traits and characteristics of a company culture that you fit in well, where if you had your druthers, that's where you'd work, as opposed to maybe one that's political, bureaucratic, the boss takes credit for all the good news, but points fingers when job, things don't work out well. Think of those traits and characteristics. And similarly, your relationship with your manager. From my experience, the two top reasons, and they're interchangeable, as to why people leave jobs is they don't get along with their manager and or they don't fit in the company culture. And so in the same way, I encourage you to think about the traits and characteristics of the company culture you're looking for. Also, what are the three or four key traits you're looking for in a manager that would allow you to have a harmonious, productive relationship with them? Okay. So now you've come up with some 25 criteria across the four categories, and then you prioritize the total number of criteria, okay? So maybe in your top 10, three or four of them are under the category company culture relationship with manager. Probably somewhere in the top five will be what your salary expectations are. In this day and age, quality of life probably has two or three top 10 criteria, including ability to work remotely or have a hybrid working relationship where I don't have to come into the office more than you know, two or three times a week, okay? So once you have prioritized what your top five or 10 criteria are, I think you're, you're well prepared for a couple of things. One, you're well prepared for any networking meetings because people are gonna ask you, you know, what can I do for you? What are you looking for? What kind of company would you like to work for kind of thing? And you can say open culture, you know, um, tran more transparency, um, you know, casual environment, entrepreneurial, whatever it is. Um, and when you finally get to the interview process, you invariably might get a question of, what are you looking for here? What would make this a, um, a, a good fit for you? You will have already answered that in your ideal job exercise. And then when you get an offer, and that could be weeks or months after you've done this exercise, you pull out your ideal job exercise, you look at your top criteria, and you use that as a litmus test how well does this opportunity line up with what you said was important to you? And I would say almost 100% of the career coaching people I've worked with have found this to be a valuable exercise. And again, I generally can't cover it right after we've completed the resume and people are happy with their resume. 